Hello everyone, welcome back in a new video. Today we're going to be making the first episode again of the dashboard series. We're remaking it more organized, more clear for everyone because apparently the old one people had issues with it. So I hope this one will be more clear. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Alright everyone, so my new way of making videos is that uh, I'll have the code ready before I start recording I'll start explaining it once I start recording basically Instead of writing in the front of you all because that would be too boring honestly Like who wants to see me just code so the code will be ready, I'll just explain it so everyone understands the purpose <laughs> the, the, the purpose of the code Alright, so of course you will start with an empty folder Yes, this will not be in the same folder as the bot, it will be another folder Alright, so we will make like a completely new project We'll call it whatever you want, I just called it here, dash bot yt So basically so I started by writing npm in it dash y, all right, and clicking enter of course. Um, then after that, I did npm install, and I installed all the, all the packages I will need for this. So first of all, body parser, cookie parser, discord o o two, discord js dot env. EGS, Express, uh, FS, JSON Web Token, Mongoose. So basically, what you'll do npm install body parser space cookie parser and like you will just try it all of them and click enter. So make sure you'll have something like this. The numbers can be different because these are the version of each. Um, each package I'm using so depending on the time you're watching the video maybe that package was an update all right so now we got it ready yeah so we will of course create an index.js and mongo.js okay and finally we'll create the emv like dot emv okay this is my example I'll delete it after the video so basically um, you will do something like this exactly okay so you'll do token equal and then you'll put here bots token which you can get from going here and you find it over here you can basically get it from here your client secret you'll go to oauth2 and there we go client secret is over here you'll put it uh, between the codes here client id here mongo path Basically, I made a video covering how to make a Mongo connection because if you don't know how, go in the description right now or click the thing that comes over here. If I put one, if I didn't forget. So, yeah, uh, the video basically will be in the description on how to make a Mongo connection. Uh, so, yeah, you will put it here. And then a W, uh, W, what? What is a W? Okay, anyways, a GWT secret. Uh, this is basically anything you want. Yeah, it can be like this. It can be anything you want Okay, so it's not like you don't get it from place because everyone in the last series told me where or how can I get my GWT secret? It is something you create. It's like a password. Okay, like you do whatever you want to but make sure not to share it with anyone Yeah, and then the port the port is basically where you want your local host, like where you want the server to be hosted on like which port Usually it's 80, yeah, but I'm going to use 90 because I guess 80 is being used right now. Um, I can't believe that. Why? Because I already have my .env over here. My mongo.js, in case, yeah, you want to see it. There it is. And here to the big boss, yeah, index.js. Let's start explaining. This will take quite a bit. <coughs> okay. So, require.env config. Basically, this allows us to use the .env file. Yeah, alright, that's why I did npmi.env and you'll do this basically. 
you just put it like that so it makes the doyen v work mongo now we are requiring this file yeah so uh we can make a connection with the database okay that was loud yeah so requiring this code express we are making an app using express here okay then requiring cookie parser like everything here we're basically just defining stuff okay uh, here we're creating a discord client like the, I'm not gonna explain this because I already explained it into uh, the discord.js series where I'm making the bot itself so yeah okay coming here so uh, we're using trust proxy all right enabling it so here we're disabling cache here we're telling um, express that this is the folder we'll be using for our project yeah we will have the back end and front end in it and then um app set views this directory basically so it's uh, so it knows that this is the bot uh, this is the dashboards directory yeah view engine we'll be using something called egs uh embedded javascript something i don't actually recall uh let me actually do what does EGS stands for embedded JavaScript templates yeah okay so uh, yeah we'll be using that I'll tell you what is its purpose in a second cookie parser and URL encoding parser are just like so we can get access to cookies and to uh, and get like you, you know these spots of the uh, URL where you have something like that as example we can access that now using these this is so we can uh, access the client from any file we want we can ex instead do process dot client equal client but you know what I can do that but I prefer this way like you can do actually like process dot client equal client yeah and you can use it like that but i prefer using it this way for no reason like uh, the, the other one isn't better i just like this one uh because i started using it first so this is the handler basically the uh, way of making every file um organized yeah first of all we're getting the files so we're gonna be reading um, from the public and then go to the backend and find anything that ends with .js so here home.js so what we'll do is loop through all the files that ends with .js get the file first and then uh, okay this needs some fixing anyways if the file has a name um, what we would do is we set the name uh, from inside the file as a route and uh, run the function. So I'm just basically reading this. It's here. And uh, log which file is being used. It's, it's this file actually. It's this line that does it. So let me move it down. This will check if it has a run to which will basically use it for post basically yeah um, we can actually change it from file post to make it clear okay so if it has a post instead of a run and I'll explain what is post and what is run in a second okay don't get confused now so this is run yeah Wh this is basically what happens when you do a get request normally okay I can even change it if you want to uh, to like where where is the run I forgot okay, I can change it to get if you want you can change it to whatever you want I just named the post here and run so run we usually use like get request so I'm gonna just name it run the normal okay so here uh, if like there is an 404 page like if I went to if uh, a page that doesn't exist yeah like 
let's say I don't have in my website a slash login, okay? And someone went to that file, we want to redirect them to a 404 page saying that the login page doesn't exist, yeah? So, uh, this is what, uh, basically this does. Um, we can actually put it in here instead, like, we can keep it here, we can do it here, like in one file like this. And last but not least, client.login make the uh, logging into our Discord bot app that listen to uh, listen to a port. Okay. And yeah, this is it for the index. Now to the public and to the public folder which have the back end and front end. What is a back end, what is a front end? Basically a front end whatever a user experiences uh, sorry, what uh, whatever users interacts with, yeah. So the front end is basically the front of the website, like uh, how the website looks like, the animation, stuff like that. How the back end is everything the user doesn't see, doesn't experience. Like it's at the back uh, in the servers, the user cannot access it, basically. So that's called back end. So we got here a 404 page. Uh, it's just simple. I said not found 404. You can customize it. You can go on Google and find one. So you can go here to code pen, type 404 HTML CSS search. Right, this is a 404 page. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just copy this here. Boom. CSS. I can go to front end, create a new folder called CSS and put here 404.css CSS is uh, a bit overwhelming sometimes, not always, to be honest there we go uh, let me rename this like the page you're uh, searching for doesn't exist and here home go to home okay and the home page let's put like uh, this one okay not sure if it's the correct way of doing it but let's hope it is um, what should we do now is to actually test it but before actually we test it let me start explaining the rest first so here in the back end is basically what we will do so first line here is basically removing the cache so we can edit the file yeah we can edit this file while um the like the project is on like we did node.js and it's on it's running we can edit it while um with, like without stopping it okay uh, so I did this, it's not required, you can remove it if you want to. Here is args, okay, args.user.guild and let's see. So I'll explain this first, let me explain this line. So uh, the rest.render, yeah, it will show here the file you want to show. You want you want to render to use it whenever he goes to slash home, okay. So here, if I want to HTML, like public front end html homo.egs which is this file over here let me call it home page okay home that's just quite simple if i did user and gold and here i'm putting users and putting golds without anything just between these two so now if i went here and put in an args and open an object users golds and using the client yeah, I got from the index here. I did uh, client of girls of videos, basically getting all the uh, members from the server, from like all the servers the bot is in. So we get the total users count and the girls, which is how many girls the the bot is in. And I just put it here as a second uh, second parameter in this function, and that's it. So. If I try to run the bot, it says uh, app on port 90 connected to database. If I went here now, if I did 
anything, yeah, I don't have this file. So it says here 404 the page you're searching for doesn't exist. And it doesn't connect to CSS for some reasons. Let me check the code. I am sure I did something wrong, but I don't recall what is it. Alright, so now I know my mistake actually. My mistake is we cannot have a front end file actually, so what I will do is I will move HTML into public, CSS into public too, so the front end is empty, we can delete it now. So here, you see, public has backend CSS HTML. Um, so here, what I will do is front end, I will remove it from here, so we can access public HTML directly. Same for here. So that was basically my mistake. there and now if i went here boom it's now working so uh if i clicked on this actually let me remove dot egs keep it the way it is there we go uses and stuff like that let me actually put a weight And I'll eat. So there, now if I went to home, basically it shows the users and the guilds. And now we have a working website. So yeah, the coming episodes, of course, we will do like Discord login, we will do other stuff. Um, we'll make an actual dashboard that works. I hope so. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it. And... Ciao.